What's up everybody? It's your friend. It's your humble servant, Aaron Malpica with another low quality, low budget sneaker review. Today I've been blessed with the privilege and honor of unboxing my friend Franco's uh, first pair of Jordans. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm humbled. Uh, I, first of all, it's an opportunity to add more content to my channel. If anyone wants a low quality sneaker review, if you're watching this, let's get in contact. I'd be happy to review your sneakers no matter what size, brand, color. Um, even if they're used, uh, as long as you love them, I'd be happy to talk about them. Just adding some more content. I know the channel's been a little bit dry lately, but again, stay tuned. We have this video right now. We have another one coming out later next week. Um, we look forward to providing your YouTube experience. Uh, to the, uh, I look forward to making it pleasant. Um, worst case scenario, you just have my soothing voice with a small amount of lisp in the background. But anyways, thanks for tuning. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. Check this out. One shot at this, so let's make sure we do it right. First, we pull out a trusty knifey. Gotta love this knife. And again, shout out to Franco for being nice enough to donate a pair of kicks to the cause. Uh, I kind of feel like a bad influence on my friends because now they're all buying shoes. Um, however, I'm not that big of an influencer because if I really was influencing their decision making, they would be buying, you know, more shoes that are tailored towards, more runners, I guess I should say. Some New Balances, some Asics, some Air Maxes, maybe some Yeezys, you need it. But again, shout out to Franco. All right, so we're doing this right. Woo! So here we have a Jordan box, you know, typical Jordan box. We bought these off eBay. These are the Air Jordan 1 mids, size 11. And uh, I'm actually pretty excited to unbox these shoes. I've actually never unboxed a pair of mids. I know a lot of people hate mids for some reason. Personally, I've never understood it. You like what you like, and you're gonna be the one who buys them and wears them. So, you know, if people hate mids, you know, more power to you because I feel like mids are actually easier accessible and a little bit cheaper to find. So here we have the authenticated on eBay. Nice wrapping paper. Woo! Let's go! I can definitely see why you got these. Alright, check them out. Here we are. These are the Jordan 1 mids. I don't know specifically, I'm not, again, the biggest Jordan guy. But my guy, Franco. As you guys know, Franco's a. Well, you guys don't know, but. Franco's a huge Spurs fan, San Antonio, not Tottenham. I don't know anyone who's a Tottenham fan. Uh, but he's a huge Spurs guy. Must be an Argentine thing because he's from Argentina, you know, Ginobili. I personally never liked Ginobili. I respect Ginobili, but I don't love him. Tim Duncan, though, and Parker were amazing. And I, I'm sure he got these to match any San Antonio Spurs jersey he may have. As long as they're Nike. Franco, do not wear it if it's an Adidas jersey. It looks dumb. Um, but what I really like about these mids is that, unlike when you get, like, for instance, your mochas, that you have to lace them up yourself. These ones already came pre-laced as you saw me pull them out of the box. That's actually really nice. Um, I wish more of them came pre-laced. Now, according to this, the Air Jordan 1 Mid White Shadows is what these are. It's a mid pop shoe, duh, that comes in a special colorway that tastefully mixes black, white, and gray together. A real blast from the past, it makes use of the original Air Jordan 1 shadow design. It features a black leather mid panel, a cool gray swoosh, right here. Um, it's, it's a little bit slightly lighter than the, on the Jordan 1s from what I'm reading. And it has a white collar. That's interesting. I actually really like how it contrasts the wings uh, right here. Love that. The white leather perforated toe. Black leather toe cap. It's actually pretty good material. Um, inside you have your shoe trees that comes with the shoe. Um, these ones, I don't know. 
the, if it's the shoe tree, but you can definitely tell that the left shoe is a lot smoother than the right shoe. I'm not sure why that is. Sorry about that, Franco. Sometimes shoes just come like that. Um, it has the lower eyelets and white jumpman on its white leather tongue, complete with the design. So the, here's the, the eBay authenticating tag. This is what they're talking about. Now, some people don't like the leather thing. I personally don't mind it. Um, of course, I'm a sucker for the original like Nike Air tongue tab, but the Jumpman on the logo actually is kind of cool because uh, that way you, know, you can actually tell what they are if you're an uneducated man. The box itself is sweet, as I mentioned. The box is uh, black and gold with the embossed uh, Jordan. Looks really cool. The paper is actually really top notch as well. Uh, but here we are. Overall, I think it's a dope shoe, Franco. I think you picked well. Um, I believe these are your first pair of Jordans of the Jordan family. And honestly, these are a good choice to start, much like my other friend Lucho. Um, I'm glad I'm getting you guys into sneakers. If you guys could please pay attention to me and get some runners. Uh, but I'm just kidding. You guys do what you guys do. And again, thank you for giving me the opportunity to unbox and review your shoes. Overall, if I had to give these a rating, I personally don't see anything wrong with them. In fact, there's like no glue stains anywhere. These are looks like a really good quality material. Let's do the smell test. Okay, all right, it's, it's still there. Now again, these shoes did release back on October 12th, 2020, I believe. So, you know, they've been out for a bit. Um, what I really like about mids is that they actually come at a really reasonable price point of $115. That's a steal. Um, especially because, you know, it looks like good leather. Um, yeah, I, I definitely have zero complaints about these. Now, I don't know what Franco got these for because he bought these off eBay. I will suggest though, as long as eBay keeps making their authenticating process free, um, I would definitely suggest going with them, especially because sometimes even sellers will like pay, do free shipping. So you're saving yourself shipping and authenticating fees, unlike StockX or Goat right now, which actually, you know, charges you all, all of those. And then StockX even does a, an additional fee, which is just completely bonkers. I don't understand how StockX is still in business. So my advice to you guys is if you're gonna continue buying sneakers, make sure to buy them off eBay if they are providing authenticating and free shipping because you end up winning. With all of that said, my guy Franco is a huge River Plate fan. Shout out to the Argentine Soccer Leagues. So if anyone has a pair of the Predators in the River Plate colors, um, I'll have a picture right here or right here, or maybe right here, I'm not sure how I'm gonna edit this yet. Please let me know so I can get you in contact with Franco. As far as I know, these were only an Argentina exclusive and we're living in the States and so we couldn't get a pair. But if anyone has a pair available or knows where we can find any, give me a shout, put it in the comments. Again, we're looking for River Plate colors, vamos River! And not the Boca Junior because Boca Juniors are not good. They have an ugly stadium. It's not even a real stadium. It's like three quarters of the stadium. Anyway, the River Plate is el más grande de Argentina. With that said, thanks again, Franco, for letting me review your sneakers. Stay tuned because I actually also received a pair of Yeezy 700s um, in the cream colorway. I'll be doing a review of that as well. Um, a little bit on feet. I can't do an on feet with another man's shoes. That's like the equivalent of kissing your best friend's wife before they get married. And that's just a no-no so I'm not gonna put these on for Frank I'll let him do the best and if he wants to share an on-fit pick um, I'm sure I could post that later so feel free to stay connected to my Instagram uh, follow me on Twitter I'm a little bit more rebellious there again we appreciate your love and support stay tuned peace